you guys, it's me Gary, Lee Stanley, your sales guy, hey, today we're going to talk about our favorite subject, which is sales, in less than five minutes, what is our topic for today, it's selling, some people can do this, and some people can't, what do you say, I said selling, some people can sell, and some people can't, I'm just going to tell you the truth, everybody is selling something, a good attitude, a bad attitude, they're selling something, whether you believe that you're selling something or not, you really are. You know, we have our children, our families, our friends. We talk about the things that we like, the things we don't like. So we're selling ourselves all the time the things that we want to have in our lives, the things we want to have in our families' lives, in our children's lives. But the key to success in this is selling. Not everybody can sell. I'm just going to say some people can sell and some people can't. And if you've got this kind of a personality where you can kind of are a go-getter. Now, you don't have to be pushy. You don't have to be uh, an out, outward type personality. You can actually be uh, quiet and kind of shy, but if you don't have a problem asking questions of customers, asking positive uh, questions, questions that can make the customers think about investing or buying, you don't have to be pushy, 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 happy, happy, happy. Well, I just happen to be one of those kind of pushy, happy, happy people. I'm always talking about sales. I love everything about it, the good, the bad, and the ugly, and I love talking about selling. And then you do have a lot of salespeople that are kind of quiet and laid back, but some of those can be very, very good salespeople because they've learned how to do just like everybody else does. They ask the good questions, the closing questions, and the questions that make the customers go, oh, okay, that sounds real good. You know, our question for today is selling, and some people can sell and some people can't, how do you know who can sell? Well, you got to get put the ball in their corner. You got to make it kind of even for them because you do have some salespeople that come on like gangbusters. They come across as being awesome and maybe they sell really good at the beginning. Then you have those turtles, those people that are kind of slow and methodical and eventually, you know, those are the ones that stick and stay and they're the ones that seem to be the producers after a while because the other ones get burned out uh, for a lot of different reasons. You know, things don't always work out you know not everybody has the same capabilities you know some people they can sell tangible products and some people can sell intangible products mean they some people can sell things they can touch feel and they can you know use in their lives other people are intangible like ideas and things like life insurance and things of this nature which make you think about what you're trying you know to you know what people are wanting to buy it's just there's different possibilities for everybody but not everybody has the same capabilities. Not everybody is meant to be a salesperson. A lot of times, you know, people who are really good at sales, they change everything. They, they're always, they're money hungry. I don't want to say greedy. They're money hungry. They, they don't like having to work for other people. In reality, if you're a salesperson, you're not working for anybody in reality. You're really working for yourself. And a lot of times, people that are really good in sales, they see themselves as their own business, their own business owners. They seem, they seem to be these kind of people that are always reaching and searching to make more money. They're always searching to improve themselves and better themselves. Now, like I said, you could be a happy, happy-go-lucky person like me, or you could be kind of, uh, you know, quiet. But don't be a manipulator. Never be a manipulator or a liar. Never be the type of person that's going to take advantage of people. Because remember, not everybody can sell, and you do have some people that are manipulators. So if you're around those kind of people, run. I'm just saying, you know, my name is Gary Lee Stanley, your sales guy. And our topic for today is selling, and not everybody can sell but can you? That would be another question. Can you sell? You know, it takes a little bit of time. A lot of times when you come into a new sales job, you don't know the ins and outs. you got to learn your basic fundamentals and your product knowledge. You've got to learn the capabilities to be able to find information. So if customers have questions, you need to be able to access that information. You know, a lot of times people think they got to know everything before they can go sell. That ain't true. Just know some hot buttons 
overcome some objections, learn some features and benefits, and have a conversation with customers. And if you can pique their interest, it's easy. All you got to do is say, did you want to go ahead and go with that? Not everybody's going to buy from you, but the key to success in this regard is that it's a numbers game. The more people you talk to, the more presentations you give, the better you get at your presentations, and the more sales opportunities you have. And the longer you sell products, the easier it gets to sell those products. Now, here's the thing. Sometimes you got to change careers midway, so you may have to learn another product, but that ain't a bad thing. Remember, not everybody can sell something, and the question is, can you? Yes, you can. You can do anything you put your mind to. If you decide that you want to be a salesperson, you got to have thick skin, though, guys, because I'm going to tell you what. Some days are going to be good days, bad days, ugly days, and sometimes those days you wish you would have stayed up in bed. You know, my name is Gary Lee Stanley, your sales guy. We just had a very uh, kind of simple conversation about selling. Not everybody can sell, can you? Yes, you can. So go out there and sell something. And remember, if you don't try, how do you know? You got to give it a try. And if one product doesn't work for you, don't give up on the career selling because there's another product that you can sell. I promise. Do me a favor, go out there and sell something and have a nice day. All right.